Well, hello again, everybody. I've just discovered this amazing chicken shed in the middle of the Red Forest, Redwood Forest in Leighton. And I thought I'd take you and have a look at it closer if we can get in. So you can see here, it's got its own little moat or lake. So I went up the side here. Let's have a look. Look at the details. Look at that amazing stonework. The love that's gone into this place, the money. And this was a chicken shed. So go along the side and see how close we can get. Oops, as I fall over. Look at this. And look, we have an open door. There's no sign saying we can't go in. So we're just going to do a quick look around this amazing chicken shed. I could just imagine the chickens living here. There's their little door. Looking at the detail of this place. It's been lovingly built. No expense spared. At the bottom of every door we have the little chicken peephole. Got a very old oak barrel there that's holding water still. I'll go around the side to show you what we can see. Look at that door, the, the, the gates. If we go around the side, look at that beautiful, beautiful old house that you can rent and be completely off the grid, out of the way. Look at those, look at those roof um, turrets, what are they called? Chimney pots, chimney stacks. And then we go around the corner. Wow. You can see the little door for the chickens. And over here, this must be where they kept the feed and the grain. And we've got a beautiful old-fashioned water pump, hand, hand crank. There's no water in that. Probably needs priming. Look at that. Let's get a little bit further away from it to show you. I'm sorry I'm so speechless, I'm just taken away with the beauty of the place. Built in 1861. And down here I spotted, we've got an open chicken flap. Look at the old flagstones. That would have been just brushed clean, I'm sure, every day. No expense spared. The old keyhole. As we go down here, discover an open door. Let's go in and see what you can see with me. Look at that. Well, I can't quite see now because I'm going behind the door that I'm looking through. But this is just to show you what the inside is like. Wish we could go around that corner and see a bit more. There we go. So it looks like it's individual rooms. As we come back through the door. So, yeah. looks like it's individual rooms that the chickens had. Maybe a hundred in each one, I don't know. What are surroundings? Are they would have been free ranging around here, I would imagine, going into those forests. Look at the door handle and the hinges. Just amazing. And then as we go here, let's have a look at the exterior. I really hope you've enjoyed coming here with me. Um, it's a bit different to my usual videos, but I am adding a, a playlist for tourism things like this and mountains and climbing, etc. We're just going to close the door back again to where it was. No one can see we've been in, we've done no damage, we've just been to look, go down the hill and I'll show you a view from the front. 
Sadly, this uh, camera doesn't have a um, pause, so I can't pause between the interesting bits. I'm sorry you'll have to stick with me on the boring bits. So there you go. That is the chicken shed in the middle of the Redwood Forest in Leighton. Thank you so much for being with me. I really hope you've enjoyed seeing that with me. And obviously, we're all going to go home now on our self-sufficient off-grid lifestyles and build a chicken palace. Because that is what that is. We're going to build our own chicken palaces. I want to see in the comments pictures now of your chicken palaces. So I will be sharing this on my sharing off-grid lifestyle and chat page. So please feel free to join us and send me some pictures of your palaces. Join my channel. See what we get up to on there. Um, I'm doing some, what am I doing? Soap making, I'm doing bacon making, ham making, I'm doing walks through the forest, herb identification, um, oh, all sorts of things, living off the land in the old fashioned ways. Wouldn't you just love to live off the land there in that lovely old shed? So thank you so much for being with us. Keep well and safe and happy. Love and peace to you all. Share, like, subscribe if you want. Bye-bye.